The following segment presents two scenarios intended to promote discussion and reflection about providing appropriate family support. As you watch the segment, consider the following questions. What is happening? What issues does it raise? What emotions come to your awareness? What implications does it have for how we practice? Uh, Mrs. Peter, things aren't going well. Not much we can do but keep her comfortable. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? I know this is hard. I'll, shall I ask a spiritual and cultural helper to drop in? Send a priest. Okay. I'll have him come as soon as possible. All right then. Hello, Mrs. Peter. May I? Sure. Would you rather go outside and talk? Oh, she's sleeping. She won't hear us. I don't want to leave her alone. I understand. We'll just talk quietly. Her time's getting shorter. I know. Did Dr. Murphy talk to you about what's going to happen? Yes. Is there anything that we can do for you? Well, I'd like someone to sit with her while I go make some phone calls. I don't want to leave her alone. A child life worker from the First Nations Health Program could do that. Her name is Susan? Yes, I know her. She'll do fine. Good. I'll make the arrangements for you. Thank you. I was wondering if Susan was able to come this afternoon, would you be willing to talk with me privately in the conference room? Yes, I have a few questions I'd like to ask you that I've been wondering about. The first scenario highlights, by its absence, the importance of being empathetic and open to family members, especially during exceptionally difficult times, such as the loss of a child. It also illustrates the importance of asking open questions and not making assumptions about people based on their physical appearance or apparent cultural background. The second scenario illustrates a shared communication and problem-solving approach in which the primary care provider works collaboratively with a family member during difficult times. It shows the importance of being with the family member in the moment, using exploratory questions to determine priorities and concerns, and seeking solutions together. Access to spiritual and religious support, providing respite support, and inviting family members to be active partners in planning care are essential parts of quality hospice palliative care. <laughs>